review the Aegis Max Ultralight in the Mummy version, as well as, well, I'll reveal here in a second, the uh, more um, rectangular version of the bag that's also available on Amazon. Yeah, the Mummy version in the large, which this is, is 200 centimeters, which is about 79 inches um, by 86 centimeters. And uh, both of these have a comfort rating of 52, um, 11 Celsius or 52 Fahrenheit. Um, interestingly, the uh, fill weight of the mummy version is 258 grams versus a total weight of 528. And the fill weight of the rectangular, which I'll reveal, is more, it's 308 grams versus a total weight of 584. So both of these bags are 200 centimeters long, but the, the, where the measurement is taken to reveals one difference already, which I'm about to show you. So if we line up the feet, and I show you the top here, you can see the top uh, measurement for the, uh, the mummy is really up to the, kind of this area. And notice that the mummy really starts coming in up around the shoulders. That's the idea of it. The rectangular version is also about 200 long, but it's measured you know, to this flat top. But you can see that up by the shoulders, rather than coming in, the whole side goes up to that length. So that's one interesting difference. The other difference is, looking at the picture alone, you wouldn't expect that the rectangular one is smaller than a mummy. Mummies are usually generally pretty tight. Not in this case. The mummy is actually wider. So if I stretch these, you know, my measurement is about 29 inches on the rectangular, 28, 29, so 70 to 73 um, centimeters versus more like at the widest point maybe 33 inches or about 84 centimeters. So that's a very interesting difference. Another difference between the bags is the zipper on the rectangular comes all around and you can basically open it up like a blanket. Besides that, you notice how easily this is zipping. Um, the rectangular has a second one. You can un unzip the bottom. That's what you like to do on a warmer night, um, if you'd rather keep the cocoon feeling up top, but cool down your feet a little bit. The mummy version, which there are many reviews of online already, this zipper only comes down about this far. So that's something to keep in mind when you are um, uh, comparing the two. The other thing I want to point out is if you consider what I mentioned about those fill weights and you consider the kind of the footprint of these bags, there's actually a bit more kind of uh, footprint area on the mummy. And since the fill weight is bigger on this smaller footprint rectangular one, it means there's more loft on the rectangular one, and perhaps a little more warmth, even though they're both rated uh, with a comfort rating of 11C or 52F, I think they are. I find that the, um, this large mummy, and I got the large because um, of more of the length, but it has ample room around the shoulders for me. So you can see I've got a lot of room in here. Um, if that's what you like, you might want to choose this over the rectangular. Um, which I'll show you, still for me, has uh, a decent amount of room. Not really more room in the feet, by the way. Um, they're really about the same size there. 
So, just sipping this up. You can see I'm in here. I compare this to a typical winter mummy bag. It's, um, it's not tight, but it's not too roomy either. I can move around, I can get on my side, um, and it would still be, you know, comfortable for me. I want to show you, if you're concerned about either of these being too cold, and you're kind of pushing the limits, I happen to have, this is my um, hammock, do-it-yourself hammock uh, Costco type quilt that I've modified, and don't mind all these cords, they're more for my um, um, under quilt on, a, on a, a hammock. But if, if you modify the end a little bit, like I've done here, you can create a foot box, like so, and very quickly use something you might already own to supplement the warmth of your new Aegis Max. So, um, you know these Costco's, they're only a pound. Um, these Aegis Maxes in this size are just over a pound. And with, for example, this is, uh, it's not in here, but this is a one pound um, uh, pad, <laughs> sleeping pad, uh, with these things that all compact down to sizes about like this, or, you know, the stuff sack of the Aegis Max is here, similar material. You then have roughly a three pound system um, that I would venture to say with these two together, you could get down certainly to 40 and maybe even to 30, especially wearing the right garments. I hope this review has been helpful. If you want to, uh, to chat about things, just send some comments and I'd be glad to share ideas with you. Thank you.